Asakar, fifth, first guru, the creator of all is one and the only one. He is realized by the true guru's grace. The five evil passions dwell concealed within my mind. They do not remain still and wander like one not attached to whom. My mind does not remain attached to the gracious Lord. The avaricious, deceitful, vicious and hypocritical mind is very much linked with worldliness. When the beloved is met, I will adorn my neck with the garland of flowers and then put on other decorations. I have five she friends and one lord. It is ordained from primal time that the self is one day liable to depart. At the departure, the five sisters bewail together. Nanak says the soul is caught and now his reckoning shall be called. The creator of all is one, the only one. He is realized by the true Guru's grace, Asa Kar, sixth, first Guru. If her mind's pearl, like an ornament, be weaved into the thread of breath, and the bride puts on the decoration of compassion on her person, then the beloved enjoys his sweetheart. O my love, I, the bride, am charmed by thine many merits. Thine excellences are not found in any other. If the bride wears the Lord's name as a garland around her neck and decks her teeth with the love for God, if she makes and wears the bracelet of the devotion of the Creator on her wrist, in this way she shall poise her mind. She should make God's love as her finger ring to wear and have Supreme Lord as her silken clothes the damsel should have patience into her parting hair and her collyrium should be her love for the lord if in temple of her heart she lights a lamp herself should she make her couch with such preparation the lord of enlightenment comes to her couch and shall be united with her in love as her first guru the created one does what he is ordained to do. What can we say to him, O brother? Whatever the Lord is to do, that he is doing. What device lies in the creature hand? Thy will is sweet to me, O God, that is pleasing to thee. Nanak says he alone receives honor who is absorbed in the true name. According to the record of our deeds, God gives the order and none can alter this command. As is the record, so does it comes to pass. No one can erase it. Whoever chatters too much at God's portal, he is termed as buffoon. He is not successful playing chess and does not reach the goal. By himself, one is literate, learned or wise, nor is there any ignorant or evil person. Whomsoever the Lord binds in discipline to laud him is the true human being. As our first Guru, the Guru's word is the ear rings in my mind and I wear the patched coat for coat of forbearance forgiveness. Whatever the Lord does, I consider that as good Thus easily the treasure of yoga I obtain. O Father, the soul thus united with the Lord is a true yogi through all the ages and it is merged in the supreme essence. He who has ordained